Okay, let's now look actually at how an approach is put together. The approach architecture. Now this, this is straight across the boards for any approach we're talking about, maybe a ILS or a VOR or a GPS, an RNAV approach. Um, all of them have different segments. Okay, and basically how it works is one segment of the approach leads to the next segment, which leads to the next segment. So, um, first of all, the initial segment of the approach, that's basically where you start, right? It begins at the IAF. What does that mean? initial approach fix. It's where the initial segment begins. It's the first T at the golf course. Okay, that's where you start. And the initial segment leads to the intermediate segment. And you notice here it says that it transitions the initial to the final at no more than 30 degrees. What, what does that mean? That means that the intermediate segment is helping to get you lined up with the final segment. It may be the same line. It may be the same course. It might be just a straight shot or it could take a little turn. But your intermediate segment goes into your final segment at no more than 30 degrees and an altitude allowing a reasonable descent down to minimums. In other words, everything is transitioning you to help you get to the next part of the approach. The final segment begins at the final approach fix, the FAF. So there's two things to know here. IAF, that's the initial approach fix. Final approach fix, FAF. Once you cross the final approach fix, you're now on the final segment, which leads you to the runway. Well, that should be the end, right? Assuming that you can land, but if you don't have the requirements to land, you don't have the visibility, you don't have the runway environment in sight, you don't have a normal descent, any of these kind of things, um, then you would ne go to the next segment, which would be a missed approach segment. And that's part of the instrument approach architecture. So let's take a look at this in more practical sense. And once we walk through this a little bit, it kind of helps get us more familiar with the segments on an approach. So can you find the different segments to this approach in to PXM, uh, VOR DME 27 in Mexico? Uh, first of all, notice that on the plan view, we can see very clearly that the IAF is the VOR PXM. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, I didn't take Spanish in high school, so I don't I don't really know. Um, but notice that the IAF is the VOR, which means no matter where I'm coming from, there might be some airways leading to this VOR more than likely, or if I'm just told to fly direct to the VOR, I could be coming at all kinds of different angles. But what I'm going to do when I get there, since it's the initial approach fix, it's the first T on the golf course, is I'm going to follow the instructions and I'm going to fly outbound, you see the arrow here, on the 100 degree radial until I reach 13 DME, DME 13 off of PXM. What do I get to do while I'm on that route? Well, I get to descend from 5,000 to 4,500 feet, 4,500. Not much of a drop there, but then I'm gonna swing it around and we're going to begin a turn to the course 264. Well, when I begin that turn and I'm actually established I can now descend down to 3,400 feet. Well, let me ask you this question. From the VOR to the DME 13, from this segment to this segment, what would you think that is? That's the initial segment of the approach. Okay, It's initial. How do I know? Because the initial segment starts after the initial approach fix. So this segment going out on the 100 is the initial segment. Swinging around this way in the turn and coming inbound is the intermediate segment because that leads us to the final segment. And it looks like as we're inbound on the 264, we can drop it to 3,400 feet. After DME 10, we can drop it down to 2,500 feet. That's a step down altitude. Again, it's just helping me to get lower and lower and closer to my minimums. The final minimum, the MDA for this, will be right here, 840 MSL. Now, where does the final segment begin? right at the Maltese cross here is the final approach fix. It doesn't say FAF, but the Maltese cross is the FAF and that begins the final segment. So after DME 7, we're on the final segment now down to 1500 and at D 4.0, I can drop it down to my final altitude. If it's a straight in, it's going to be 840 uh, in a category A or B aircraft. If I am circling to a different runway to land, it's going to be 900 feet would be the MDA. Of course, if I can't make that, the missed approach point is where? 
right at the VOR here. You see the M there. You also see MAP, missed approach point, at VOR. So it's very clear once we get that flag to flip, we don't have a runway in sight. We're not ready to land. It's going to be a missed approach. We can see the missed approach dotted line here. It looks like we go straight out on the 270 radial to DME 7 and make a left back to the VOR to hold as published. That instructions is here and the short code or shorthand version of the missed approach is here and that's that's Jeppesen. So those are the segments of an approach.